Oh no. She got got. She got got. Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy Z Boy Wonder back again with another Makine 2 mini losing heroines action. That's right, we're on episode 8 now, and the last episode was pretty solid. I really enjoyed the crew going and saving Lemon Chan, but then also seeing how each character has now started to grow into their own in this story, and the cliffhanger ending of Yanami asking Nuku to get a boy to be her rental boyfriend for an upcoming hangout session or something of that nature. Though... As you guys know from my last reaction, I really would like to see Nuku and Yanami finally get the ship going on. We did get to see a little bit of Lemon Chan getting to do a finger handhold with her man. But more importantly, let's see what episode 8 has in store for us. We only got 5 left of season 1. I've been loving everything about this show from the animation to the story to the romance to the comedic relief. It's all been absolutely fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite rom-com animes I've ever gotten the chance to watch. But that's enough talking about what happened last time. Let's jump into episode 8 and see what they have in store for us. Would you look at that? We got some nice fall foliage going on there. I'm very, very excited to be seeing these leaves change when I go to Japan here in November. It should be looking similar to that. And yet again, we got the tasty water that Nuku loves from this area of the school. He seems relieved that he can now use his water spigot again. Oh, I wonder if it's got even more water. Kamari's here as well. Oh, 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 what's going on there? Did they get rid of the lit club? Is the lit club gone? Oh god. Oh god. It's 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 the weirdo. So it's this is our Halloween episode? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. She got got. She got got. Help her, Nuku. Help her. You are the pen. What what why? I don't understand what we just saw there. So I don't quite understand what we just saw there, other than the fact that it's got to be a Halloween costume. This girl's always kind of looking like a freak. She's always looking like she's got some interest. I wonder if she's starting to get... What the heck? What the heck? What is going on here? Oh, application is very lacking. Uh-oh. This girl gives me, like, bad vibes, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. Wait, let's see what this says. So we have the festival application for classroom use. Please fill out this information below to apply to borrow a classroom. Write more details about the exhibit. The deadline is 10.05. I can wait until after class if there's something you want to you want the student council to do. Oh, that's right. She's part of the student council. The actual Baboki Fest tells us if you don't understand something or have any questions, come see the student council. Okay. Shikaya is a freak. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. She creeps me out, man. But at the same time, like, I just... I don't I don't know why she's like a zombie when she's not being a zombie for her Halloween costume. Kind of a lot, right? Like, Kamari's, Kamari's trying to just live her best life and not be, you know, ashamed of her senpais, okay? So she's a beast of a writer. Oh, Kamari's gonna be the next club president. Okay, I like that. Kamari deserves it. And Nuku's getting vice pres. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Nuku's growing more. Oh no. The senpais are getting sad. Kamari won't know what to do. Oh god, Koto, you can't stay for her. Come on. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they're gonna pass the torch. Yes. Yes. Kamari needs all the help she can get. So she doesn't eat lunch in the bathroom anymore. I love how the Lit Club is looking out for each other like this. If I ever make her pork soup... Wait a second. Leave the green onions? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. But that is cute. But also a little weird that she knows her exact loves for food. But I feel like that's like the one thing they're always complaining about. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Why is this happening? His little sister is so interesting. Why? What? What is it? This is, this is another anime trope. This is one of my least favorite ones, I'm not gonna lie, they're like, 
little sister and the brothers or the half sisters or the adopted brothers. I I'm getting some sort out online vibes right now. I'm not gonna lie. Supervising his progress. Oh God. I was gonna have to pay for her lunch. Little sister doesn't even know. Oh, she's gonna make a tasty lunch. What is that? It isn't me holding a grudge this time. Representative of all humanity, I felt like they needed a rise in injection. That, that lunch didn't look bad though. Those noodles look super tasty. Oh, wait, why was the teacher doing... Whoa. Yeah, what the heck? He can't just be in there hanging out. Sosuke. I'm just used to it. What the heck? Sosuke is kind of sly. Anything I want? Scotch egg. Man, look at this deliciousness. That fried egg looks so good, actually. Okay, true. Nami is such a great character. Kamara-chan is still trying to figure out herself and what she wants to do with Lit Club, but she's also about to be Lit Club president, right? Oh, I didn't expect her to say that. A girly girl, huh? There's only two third years. True. She is innocent. We love Kamara-chan. Not as much as we love Lemon-chan, but we love Kamara-chan. Okay. We can't take all of our food. Nami just wants to eat the lunch of everyone. All the time. Specifically our boy Nuku. What's the idea? People are drawn to food, true. Typical. Typical. Has to do something with food. Of course. Of course. Oh, Yanami. Food is always the first thing on her mind. Then boys. Old and new. Saying we should let the environment here inspire us. Okay. This environment looks kind of standard though, doesn't it? Because, Kamari, we want you to get out of your shell. True. Be in his way in what way? No. Oh, wait a second. Is Kamari starting to have a crush on Nuku? Because they're always together? Yeah. Duh. Look at the sea otter. That was cute. Otters are cute. Dude, okay. Did, did, they just, did they just have me mic'd up in here? They sure are. Oh, that's actually crazy. I didn't know that about otters, that they eat more than 20%. That's what makes Yanami fall in love with them. Wait, she thinks she's really he thinks he's really cute, but the fact that she eats more than 20% of her body weight <laughs> makes him want to get away from it, huh? Wait. We got your back, Kamari. Just a water cup, huh? Oh. Yeah, let's get some inspiration for Kamari. True. So I was right. Kamari doesn't come from a whole lot. She's gonna be super appreciated. Yeah, of course, Yanami. I feel like they are, like, low-key dating, but without being in a ship yet. Needs to happen. Oh, you were not Yanami. Oh, no. Oh, she could be the greeter. Yes, this is smart. Yeah, see, Nukun is a genius. He knows exactly how to make Yanami happy. But that is correct. Okay, we got her on board, baby. Let's go. Super easy. Alright, alright. Classic recipes. Oh, pictures? Oh, so she wants actual food. True. But what if they used uh, literature inspired meals? Ah, uh, it's over. GG's. Yep. They definitely did. Oh. Who's our baker, though? That's a pretty nice kitchen. They actually go to a really nice school. Not a chance. Funnel cake. Don't want to eat such a depressing snack. These are definitely these are definitely some sad cookies. They made they basically made like cookie drum gumdrops. She's on her way in. Did she just jump through the window? Cookies and tea. We can't feed you can't be feeding Yanami's ego like that. And yet again, here is the love square. I have a feeling all three of them are gonna fall in love for Nuku at some point moving forward. What did you just say? What what did she just say? I I did not understand anything. Pretty concerned with this no advisor. Love how happy-go-lucky Yanami is in any situation. That's good for Nuku. Oh? Oh, is this where we get the... Is this is this where the nurse comes back? Nope. Nurse's best friend. Oh. I love how the teachers are, like, so open with the students, like, hooking up. That's crazy. How do they become teachers, man? I feel like this chick's drunk. Oh, she does have the little red circles under her face. She might be a little drunk. I'm gonna... 
They're gonna have to take on the nurse. Yes, thank you. Thank you, An Anmana John. Thank you, thank you. The Lit Club needs to survive. We need this. First love lemon. Where did she come from? Hmm. Is that mayonnaise? <laughs> Dear brother. Ooh. This, okay, some udon, some soba. Inspiration. We need some inspiration for our, for our awesome school festival stand. We need the lit club to pop off. Sugar-coated peanuts. Kaju, we appreciate you. She did make the delicious lunch for Nuku and Yanami. Oh, Kamari's chill with this. There'll be a lot. She's going deep on her research. Books down. Oh no. As long as Lemon Chan's not crying, I'm gonna be okay though. No tears coming for me this time. Four readings, oh that's smart. Okay. This is a great idea. Smart. True, true, true. We have to we have to be sparing with our delicious treats. Yes, we gotta get them reading. Smart. Ooh. It sounds it sounds like Min Chan and Yanami don't have a whole lot to do. Oh, we got we got her. I knew it. I knew she was about to be a part of this. I knew that the the weirdo freaking nurse was coming. Cause she wants to find a good love story. She's also impressed by Nuku. Ooh, this music's enjoyable. I've really enjoyed the OST of this anime as well. I, I just can't say enough good things about it, honestly. Really well made anime. A1 Productions has crushed this one. Ah, smart. Nuku's starting to pay attention to a lot of habits. Oh? Oh. That's weird. Did she turn the faucet? Oh, okay. I was like, she turned the faucet the wrong way. Ah, yes. Maybe she's worried about being the president. But I could see how that could be a little overwhelming for her. She is very introverted. But then they won't be able to believe in me and understand that they can go do what they want. I like her taking responsibility here. Great character growth right now for Kamari. Oh? She really is that shy of people. Wow. She finds comfort in Nuku. I don't think he expected that. That was kind of cute. Nice calculations. Math! Yes, that way she doesn't have to deal with all the crazy kids and the crowded hallways. That's okay. Wait. No, 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 no. Looks like we have a little bit of an after credit scene here. Oh. Shikia. Might you be one of those from the literature club? He's looking at your name tag. Don't worry, our boy Nuku's a good guy. Oh, why is the student council people so weird? Shikia is a, is a freak. This is this is getting wild. Who is this? The chairwoman? Uh-oh. Huh. She gives me some interesting vibes for sure. Alright. Why is she treated like royalty? Is, is, is it like that in... Oh, oh. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. She's shining. Okay, I don't know if student body prez is a giga freak or just actually a goddess, but the sh the shining face at the end there was something. And she really uh, embraced Nuku there. I don't know what it is, but Nuku kind of has a way with the ladies at this point that no one can really, you know, touch on. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. His sister was worried about him having friends. He now has a bunch of friends. He's even surprised that he has friends. He had never had friends prior to this. And now it seems that he's surrounded by friends and even surrounded by women that might even find him attractive. Kamari's getting comfortable with him. Lemon Chan's sharing her secrets. And Yanami, well, Yanami's been been a Nuku fan for a long time. I think since episode one. And we just need that ship to finally be brought to life. But my question is, is there going to be a twist at the end here where it's not going to be Yanami that gets to be with Nuku, but she's going to get her heart broken for a second time because Nuku ends up getting swooned by someone else entirely outside of the three-way harem that we've been seeing? Or is it even a harem at all? I'm not sure. We'll have to find out in the coming episodes. We only got a few left. Episode 9 coming at you guys real soon as well. I'm Z-Boy Wonder, flying out.